Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Srinath and today I am going to give a clarity on the question which programming language to start first. So this question will be in the millions of minds of youngsters who wanted to start their coding career as a beginner. So I am here to guide you to a successful career. If you watch this video till then, you will find something helpful. So before starting this question, which programming language you will to start first? Let me share my experience with you, what happened when I started my coding career and how it went. I started with C language because many of the professors and my relatives friends suggested me to learn C language. Since it is the mother of all language, it is the base for every language. From C language, the many languages are derived. So that's the reason I started C language and I've completed 5% of C language, basic part. I stopped C language in the middle. Then I skipped over to Python. Again, I have stopped Python in the middle. I jumped over to Java. Again, I stopped Java. So I was in dilemma state, which programming language to start first? Why should I learn C? Why should I learn Python? All these doubts were arising in my mind. So this should not happen with you. This is the main aim. This is the main reason why I'm uploading this into the YouTube. So before watching this video further, just pause this video and think of a while. Why do you want to start coding? And what will you do after learning the coding? So I hope you have paused the video and watching this video after pausing. So if you are clear with these two things, then you can proceed now. The first one, the first type of students, they learn coding and they wanted to become a web developer. Then. To become a web developer, to create beautiful and responsive websites, you need to learn the basic three languages, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. After learning these three languages, still if you have time, then you can learn the scripting languages such as .NET, React, AngularJS, Node.js. So after learning any one of these scripting languages, connect this website to database management system, then it becomes a full-fledged website. So this is the advanced stage of web development. So for the, for the basic web developer, the must skills are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So the first case is completed. Those who want to design websites, they need to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Actually these three the, doesn't come under programming languages. These are the markup languages. But for the time being, let's consider the web development into the programming language. Okay. I hope the first one is clear. Now coming to second kind of students, they, they learn the coding and they wanted to be placed in the top MNCs like Fang or Wang. So if you want to get placed in the top MNCs, then you must be a master in data structures. But data structures is not a programming language, it is a subject. So the data structures uses C language or Java language. So if you want to get placed in top companies, learn C first and then Java because Java is a bit of complex and difficult for the beginners as it contains object-oriented programming language system. This is called as OOPS. So it, be, it might be a bit uncomfortable and a bit of a difficult task for the beginners. So who wanted to be placed in the top companies, learn C language first and then Java and then you can proceed with the data structures and algorithms which we call it as DSA. Now the first two cases are clear. The first, but the first type of students who wanted to learn coding and design a website. The three languages you need to learn are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The second type of students who wanted to learn coding and become master in data structures and crack a good company in the future, they must be master in C language or Java. Now the third type of students who wanted to design games, who wanted to design the apps, applications, graphics, Android apps, Pygames, then you must learn Python because Python have many user friendly features such as it supports object oriented programming, it is multi dimensional pattern, dynamic memory allocation, rich standard libraries, cross platform, extensible, expressive, embedded. So these all are the features of Python that is it is a beginner friendly language. So the persons or the students who wanted to do the graphics or apps or games, they can proceed with the Python. And the fourth category, students 
who doesn't have any idea about coding that means whatever the teachers or the professors recommend they will learn that so for those kind of students i prefer personally python because just now i said the uses of python and with the help of python you can decrease the number of lines of code when compared to c language or java so if i proceed further you may not understand what i am speaking so i will limit up to this i hope you have got a clear idea this is also is saying that the world is already full of players you must be a game changer that means everyone can learn the languages everyone can learn the syntaxes see if i learn syntax that means i learn i got c language if some other person learns syntax that means he also got c language then what is the difference between him and me we need to bring the innovations we need to create the new projects we need to solve this real life problems how the google maps came into picture so we need to develop such type of applications by learning coding so the world is only full of players everyone can learn the coding but you must be a game changer that means you need to change you need to bring a change you need to create an innovative idea you need to create an application which is helpful for the world so they must take the inspiration from you so always keep working hard and stay consistent let's meet in the next video